Now, just one last thing. If you let's go ahead and open that one. Here's one with arrows. If you want to just do your own arrows in Photoshop and have it, you can see like in some of these it kind of gets clipped a little bit by your object, or you just want to manually make arrows just because you feel like it. Black background, cam view, make cam view. Export. We'll say PS arrows. Go in here. Open that up. And now we can put arrows on here. In order to kind of see where your arrow needs to go, we'll put bounding boxes around here real quick. Let's go up here to View, New Guide Layout. And oh, I must have done this already. It's already set up perfectly. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn on Columns and Rows. Uh, you may have a gutter value in here, like 10 or 20. You can just go in here and say, you know what, I don't want any uh, gutter. We want eight columns, five rows, no height or width, no gutter. No margins, just that's really all you need. Hit OK. Actually, you may need to go to View Clear Guides and then View New Guide Layout 8, 5, OK. And now it's all split up. Uh, so now what you can do is let's just go into brush mode here and hold down Alt to make it a little bit bigger. I'll say uh, Shift 0 and 0. And again, we need to take, uh, we need pure red here. So we can just click on that. We can say 255, 0, 0. And again, red is uh, X axis. So we can go. I want an arrow this way. And now, of course, you're going to want to make this on its own layer here. So here's our x axis. Green, 0, 255, 0 is our y axis. And then blue, 0, 0, 255 is our z axis here. So now we have our own custom arrow here. We can go ahead and say Control T and you can make it bigger or smaller, do whatever you want for this. And if you if you uh, don't want it snapping to your guys, you can hold down Control and that'll uh, temporarily make it unsnappable. And then all you need to do is just, uh, you can make a copy of this, I have a hotkey for it. But uh, you can just drag this to New, hold down Control or go into the, your Select. You can auto select by uh, layer if you want. So you can hold down Control and then sh uh, shift, it'll snap it. And I am going to do a merge down. I have that set to control E so I can, uh, and then I have a hockey for duplicate. So I can just very quickly duplicate these over. And then I can duplicate these down, merge down. Or in this case, you know what I probably want to do? Just do it one by one since we're odd. And that was good. Uh, control shift E to flatten. I don't need to see the guides anymore. I can leave them open. It's not a big deal, but you can also go in here and you can clear your guides and then go to file save. And now your Ecrochet bus PS arrows, when you go in here to your cam view and next, you're going to see now you have your arrows uh, selectable in here that you did custom in uh, Photoshop. And if you don't like going through a bunch of different cam views, what you can do is you can just go through here and you can just delete all of them or delete just the ones, uh, every everything but the ones you want to see. And that might make it a little bit easier to navigate through.